I'm Alexandra. I've been writing and editing with Scripted for a little over a year now. Before I transitioned to full-time writing, I worked in TV news. I was a TV news anchor and reporter and producer and web and social media editor, camera woman, and video editor as well. Today's TV news has really evolved um, from even what it was a decade or two ago. It's really a one-man band operation these days. Um, definitely a lot less glamorous than it once was and certainly a lot less glamorous than it appears on TV. I got into TV because my mom was a sports anchor and reporter, so I grew up going to work with her, going to games, going in the live truck, getting behind the scenes peeks of her on set. So, you know, as a child, it seems very exciting. And so that's the path I took. And I ended up taking a very traditional path. I majored in journalism. Um, then I did what every budding reporter has to do when I graduated, which is move somewhere totally random. So I moved to Sherman, Texas for a morning reporter job. I had a about a 3 a.m. wake up call, which was actually pretty good. I didn't know how good I had it till a couple jobs later. Two years and two stations later, I got a job as a weekend morning anchor and weekday reporter in Huntsville, Alabama. So during the week, I would report three days a week. That had about a 1.30 a.m. wake up call. The weekends, Friday and Saturday, I would have to go into work at 11.30 p.m. and work through the night producing the morning show. It was a two and a half hour show, so I would have to fill it with content, write all the stories, and then come 6 a.m., present that for two and a half hours on air. So as soon as that was over, I would go straight to bed and get ready to do it all again the next day. Two years after that, I was offered Evening Anchor in Quincy, Illinois. Now I was done with the mornings. This was night side, so I got to go in at 2.30 p.m., but I was working till 11, 11.30 p.m., so I kind of quickly realized that there is really no good schedule, no good shift in TV news, and that's kind of what spurred my interest in looking elsewhere, you know, wondering what, what else I could do, where else my skills would translate. So after three years, I was really ready for a new challenge, change of pace, more flexibility, autonomy, and so I decided to leave. Uh, I left at the end of February 2020, so about a week later, the pandemic really hit the US. A horrible time to be looking for a job. I thankfully stumbled across Scripted and um, sent in my application, got approved, started building up my portfolio. One thing I noticed right off the bat was Scripted really pays its writers well. You know, they seem to really care more about just pumping out as much content as they can, but they wanna take care of their writers. They have great support. So that was really, really kind of refreshing. As I spent more time on the site, I really realized that so many of my skills from TV that I had worked so hard to sharpen they translated perfectly to freelance writing. So pitching story ideas, storytelling, meeting deadlines, researching, of course, writing and editing. Originally, I was planning to work on Scripted until I found a normal job or until the pandemic subsided. But pretty soon after, I realized Scripted is actually sustainable and I would never want to go back into a traditional role now, you know, deal with some of the things you have to deal with, commuting, traffic, um, you know, a lot of oversight, meetings, just a lot of stuff that I have the freedom now to, I don't really have to deal with that. I love learning. I'm super curious by nature. That's part of the reason I became a journalist and I feel like I am still a journalist. It's just a different kind a more modern journalist, you know, doing SEO writing, blog posts and stuff like that. And I never have to worry about working on Christmas, working on Thanksgiving, Easter, weekends, nights ever again. One of the best parts about Scripted is that it works with my schedule, not the other way around. Over the past year, I was planning a wedding and during that time, I learned that Scripted is even more sustainable in terms of different stages of life. Planning a wedding is very time consuming, you know, between cake tastings, dress fittings, meetings at the venue, meetings with the wedding planner. But I was able to do all of this while still working full time on Scripted. I didn't have to worry about vacation days, being late to work, anything. and. I was able to go on a two week honeymoon and not have to worry about, you know, missing any work. 
from the pay to the flexibility to the autonomy to the creativity. There are so many amazing things about Scripted and I'm so happy to be working on the platform.